My first guest, beside being uh, one of my favorite actresses, is a two-time Oscar winner whose films include Taxi Driver, The Accused, Silence of the Lambs. Her latest uh, film is called Summersby, which opens uh, today. I saw it last night. Please welcome Jodie Foster. It's Ringo, George, Paul, and Jody. <laughs> I know you. I understand you know Sal, a trumpet player. This is... I, I do. I know him intimately. Really? He... <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I do. Do you want me to tell you why? Uh, nah. Sure. No, I, are, you, are you learning to play trumpet? Or I, I am. I'm learning to play trumpet. I would. I am going to play trumpet for you when I do it really well. Really? Yes. Can you play it all now? Well, I can. I can. I can play, but uh, some people told me just don't go on stage. Oh, no. Don't listen to them. But I'm don't working listen. on it. Yeah. Well, we we play next time. We play a little something. Sit yeah, in with the band. Absolutely. Well, you know, it's the Clinton inspiration. Huh? So if he can do it, you know, the president can do it. Oh sure. Sure. <laughs> now what does I keep reading about? Now you, we touched on this last time, but we didn't really talk. You said you want to do a talk show. Yeah, it's one of my. Uh, you know, other people have these fantasies about going in space and. We have a spot opening up here. There you go. Yes. I. Uh... Oh, 12:30. No. Well, when Dave leaves, you would slip right. That would be. What kind of talk show you want to do? Uh, I, I, the, my, my dream is to have. It's very specific. A, a, a talk show someplace you're in Europe, where people won't see me, mm -hmm. and I will be the resident American expert on movies of the 70s. Now, see, that's that's exactly what I want against me on CBS. That would be perfect. <laughs> That's exactly what I think would be great. Okay. Just on movies of the 70s? Yeah, I'm afraid I don't really know very much about any other movies, so... Movies of the 70s, movies that I loved. But see, I told you 70s. about a movie that I loved, Payday. And I missed it. But you missed it, Rip Torn. That's a great... You, you have to dig that out. I will, I will. When you walk into a video store, can you, have you pretty much seen everything that's there? No, you know, you know, you know how video stores are... There's different sections. There's comedy and, and drama and classics and all that, and... I can only go to the drama section. I've seen nothing in the comedy section. It's terrible. And you know, it's like it's when you go to a library and you see a thousand books and you haven't read any of them, so you just walk out. I sort of feel that way about comedy. It's just intimidating. No, wait, no, back up, back Other up people. again. That's, <laughs> yeah, that's like people that say, you know, I never brush my teeth and I have no cavity. <laughs> and you go in the library, if there's a lot of books, the heck with these things. I'm not gonna... Well, see, I'm sort of the same way. Well, I don't usually rent comedies or watch comedies because being a comedian, right. you, you sort of know the joke, so you s kind of see where you saw that before. So I prefer to watch a drama or mm -hmm. an action film. But I would think as an actress, like, comedy would be like, oh, you're doing heavy drama things all the time. Comedy would be a fun thing to do. I, uh, I can't get past the posters. The posters? You know? <laughs> well, like, people... You know, the, the thing on the, on, the, on, the, on the cassette where it's like, you know... Uh, two people riding on top of a dog and... You know, what section or... are you in now? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. What, uh... I think you're going all the way to the back of the video store, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Try and stay in the area of new releases, yeah. yeah that's... Two people riding a dog. I, I think I remember that mm -hmm. one. Yeah. You missed that one yeah, in the 70s, I, I, You know, Clarence Thomas recommended that to me. <laughs> oh, stop. Oh, I'm glad to have the right wing here. Yeah, thank you very much. People are shocked. You did a lot of commercials? I did. I did a lot of commercials as a child. I, I quit, thankfully, at a certain age, but yes, I did a lot. What, what age did you quit? I think I quit commercials when I was about eight, about eight or nine. Yeah. And uh, I did television from the time I was six on, you know, in some movies, and then I kind of quit television at uh, 11 or 12. Yeah. So. yeah. I actually, we have dug up, see me being a big fan. Yeah. I, I have one like your very first commercial. This is great. A lot of nudity. I want to again. I want to warn people. I want to warn people. There is nudity involved. So if you're offended by nudity, please turn away. But Jody was the copper tone girl. Let's take a look. Here she. Wait here. Can we run this? Here we go. Here we go. A lot of nudity. Copper tone helps she is. make your skin more cute little thing. Helps prevent peeling. You tan smoothly, evenly. Get a deep, dark, long-lasting tan. Get enriched copper tone. Don't be a pale face. Use copper tone. You know, 
Okay. I would, uh, I think it'd be fun to redo that commercial exactly the same way now. I think that'd be great. <laughs>